Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. I'm just going to do one load of sugar beet today, then it's going to be time to go and buy something to do some forestry work. Now I do have to do a bit of a yard tidy up and possibly some pressure washing as well because I know that a lot of viewers are getting a bit frustrated with the very messy yard. So I'll do that first of all after this, well second of all actually, but uh, yeah, this first and then it'll be time to do that and then it'll be finishing off with the forestry work. Interesting. It's levitating, but it's a good system. It's a fairly slow fill rate, but it's still way easier than using the tractor with the front loader. So it's about two thirds full. I'll keep waiting, and then it'll be time to go back over to the grain elevator east. Yep, grain elevator east is still the best price. It hasn't changed at all because it is still actually only a minute on from the previous episode in time um, because I haven't increased the rate and nothing has happened between the end of the previous episode and the beginning of this one so that is a good way of doing things almost there 44,000 litres and that's it time to go oh looks like I have quite a few egg boxes not enough to move them yet but very soon probably in the next episode I will get them sorted out. I also do need to do some more baling to get some more money for hay bales or grass bales before the end. The more money we can move with the better. So I would like to have at least £100,000 when we move. That shouldn't really be too difficult to achieve since I still have plenty of sugar beet and all of the animals that have to be sold. Um, in fact in the next couple of episodes the horses are going to be sold. So, I already know how much it's going to be, so do you, if you've watched the previous episode. It is uh, £29,983, or is it 82 I think it's 83 We will see. 84 Okay, I got it wrong. So, I'll take it back, and then it'll be time to go over to the store to buy the machine, or two machines actually, two implements which I want to use today. One of them is the BioBelts trailer which can actually be fitted to the MAN truck, forestry truck, which I can't currently afford but that's fine. I can buy that in the future, probably on a different map or maybe it won't even be the MAN, it could be a different mod. Um, but it's a good forestry trailer which I want to use and also the Flegel log grab thing which is actually for front loader use which I've never used, despite it being a base game item, base game implement. It will be very interesting to use that for the first time. At least I'm fairly sure I haven't used it before. I don't think I need this tractor again today, so I can leave it under the conveyor belt filling up. It does take, I would say, a good five minutes at least to fill up. Maybe even ten. It is slow. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Let me grab the John Deere. Here it is. Uh, and yes, let me just do this very quick tidy up. There are a few things which are excessively dirty. I think I'm just going to tidy things up first. Then I'll do a, a very fast washing session. And then, yeah, over to the store to do what I said I was going to do. There we go. I think that's good enough for the time being. Let's put these doors down. It's quite a few to do. Right, good. Uh, so yeah, next stop is the pressure washer. I don't think there's too much to wash. The tractor just here, the John Deere, that could be done. And I think the loading wagon, the mower, everything there looks a bit dirty. But it doesn't really matter too much because they are working machines. So I'll do this one over here, and the tractor, and uh, yeah, the other two as well. Make these look quite good. Okay, right, 
John Deere first. Well, actually, no, I should do this first because otherwise it's going to splat mud back onto the uh, rear window. It's cleaning up quite nicely. Yeah, I don't tend to clean stuff very often, mainly because it is a fairly dull job to be doing. But I don't turn the dirt mode off because otherwise it's a bit unrealistic. So, yeah, there we go. Looking good. Nice and shiny again. Uh, so this is the tractor I'm going to use for the logging trailer. The Ford can actually load the logs up. I don't actually know how much the Flegel costs. We'll have to see. Next up we have the fertilizer spreader. Give that a quick wash as well. Good. And, yep, reattach, put it away. And finally, the mower. So hopefully this really does please everybody who was uh, a bit upset about it being so messy. Uh, it's still not perfect, but it is such a, a vast improvement over what it used to be. And I've actually made use of the shed over there quite well. Uh, yeah, I must apologise. I am very bad at reversing today for some reason. I think I'm going to use the pedals. There we go. I was using the keyboard. I do that in multiplayer, and it's become a habit. Uh, the main reason is because I always type to other players and well I don't put the keyboard right in front of me so yeah not a very good excuse I have to admit next the mower you have to drop it from a great height if you don't want it to unfold you can't just lower it to lower it you have to unfold it first so here yeah, here we go yeah this doesn't look good this really does need to be cleaned not very presentable Okay, that is good. And a big drop from height, there we go. Okay, so uh, yeah, first things first, I'm going to go and get the logging trailer, because there's no follow me, I have to go twice, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, whoa, oh, these signposts, I always hit them. Oh, missed one there. I should get an extra point. I think it's in the region of... £17,000, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll soon find out. Forestry equipment just here. Uh, well, actually, first of all, we've got this, which is 3.5. That is a very reasonable price, I think. I don't know how good it is. It's probably not very good. Although, can't really judge it before I use it. That's not very fair. Uh, it's actually 19000 Okay, but it looks good. You can customise a few things with the colouring. But actually, I'm quite happy with the colouring. The colour scheme looks good. So, I'm actually quite surprised. I thought it would only fit to the front loader after saying that, but actually, you can attach it to the uh, front three-point linkage, which is very nice. And that is a larger trailer than I was expecting. It's actually one which is designed to go onto the back of the truck, like I explained earlier. The truck which I would like to get, it's just at the moment, I can't really afford it. Yeah, the Flegel attachment here doesn't look like it can extend too much just as long as it can extend into the trailer which it should be able to do actually because we've got the front loader which can do the height all it has to do is be able to reach over right okay so theoretically you could do this with just one tractor but I don't really want to detach the logging trailer from the the tractor because otherwise it could roll away as we've all probably experienced that by now if you detach, even if it's got chocks behind the wheels, it still tends to just drive off. So the front loader goes onto here, like this. Yeah, it seems it seems very uh, maneuverable. I have to get used to it, but it looks good. That is the extent of the extending. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Obviously, I'm not very good at using anything, so if I can use it, then it must be dead easy to use for everybody else. Now we're not going too far, I'm going to make use of the trees over here, because obviously I'm selling the farm and I want to make the most of what we have on the land already. Uh, I'm going to go for some of these bigger trees, but I might just fell everything. Actually we've got this tree over here, I own that, because I now own this field. So if I just park a little bit further back, because I'm bound to fell it the wrong way, park straight just there. 
And yeah, turn the engine off. Head back over here, grab the Ford, and start felling. The only issue is you're going to hear my mouse clicking, not squeaking. It's not an actual mouse, my mouse that I use for controls. Uh, yeah, so that is the only disadvantage of using this particular tool. I did look into getting a silent mouse. <laughs> I actually searched for it, and it appears that you can get one. Um, but the one I found didn't have very good reviews, so couldn't really see the point in replacing a perfectly good mouse with one which potentially is worse. It's just that the mouse clicks are supposed to be silent. Okay, that is on the way down. Yep, there it goes. Strip it all off. And I have to cut these up into fairly equal sized pieces, since this trailer is not a full length trailer. Does this tree ever end? It's a good tree. There should be plenty of money in it. Uh, just get rid of that. Good. Okay, so I'm thinking that sort of size. Same again here. There is actually a measurement mod. I don't know if it's uh, one which has just been converted from 17, but that could be very handy for figuring out the size of different logs keep measuring them all to the same amount, so if you want three meters each time, just measure it out with the measuring tool, and it's easy. Easily, uh, easily done. Right, okay, so how do you actually rotate this thing? It doesn't appear to be quite the same as the front loader main tool. Hmm, looking at it, I don't know if it does rotate. It doesn't look to, uh, but I could be wrong. Anyway, yeah, let's just get things opened up, first of all. I'll get used to the controls, don't worry. Should only take me a couple of seconds. It looks like it should rotate. And it doesn't even look particularly straight now, so... Uh, it must do. Although, actually, no, looking at this, I think it's because I'm on this land. Uh, going downhill, it's sort of... It's just pivoted to the side. It doesn't rotate, I don't think. But, of course, if I'm wrong, please do. Feel free to let me know. Yeah, it's pivoting. I can see it moving as I change direction. So that's alright. It's not an issue. The only thing which would become an issue here is if I go and lift it up underneath the tractor. And that, I would say, is still a bit too long. Right, I, I'm getting the hang of it. It's still the first log. But I'm using the sort of blade there to assist the lifting up of it, although that still has gone pear-shaped. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is uh, this is fun. This could work. Now, if I'm using it wrong, then uh, yeah, like I said, please do let me know exactly how to use it appropriately, but as long as I get them in here, I'm alright, but obviously, yeah, if I'm using it wrong, it would be quite frustrating to watch. Therefore, I'm about to do a time lapse just to make this a little bit less painful to watch and yeah it should be quite enjoyable actually because you don't have to sit through me just going backwards and forwards saying hmm I wonder if this is how it works so let's go Okay, so either I am really, really bad at using this, which I think is probably part of it, or it's not a very good tool. Uh, because whenever I am carrying a log, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, it's carrying it fine, and it's definitely grabbed the way I would expect it to be grabbed. And then it just goes and has a weird spasm attack sort of thing, and then it uh, well goes a bit crazy, really. So... Yeah, I don't know if it's just not very good. It is cheap. And it does work, eventually. So it's still worth having for somebody in my position, but... Uh, there's definitely better stuff out there. Now, is there still a log within the 
undergrowth. I don't know. I would say there isn't. I think that's the whole tree. So moving on, we're going to go for something a little bit different. We're going to go for a Scots pine over here, instead of the spruce, or whatever it was. Uh, I'm going to go for this one here. Fell it across there into the field. Since there is no crop in here, it is just a grass field now. Should be fine. So yeah, we get this uh, tree stripped. I could do the other one. There we go. Take all the branches off. And then I can attempt to pick this one up too. Now, it would be so much easier just to grab the tree and take it over there, but it just doesn't accept having such a large tree. And it was still going a bit weird with just the small logs too. Now, like I say, I could be doing something wrong, but if I'm not, I'm not terribly impressed by it. Right. Okay. So, uh, let's just try and take it over here. I'm sure you're supposed to use the blade though. I was trying to use the blade as much as possible, but it's not always too easy. Because whenever I picked it up with the blade, that's when it always worked the best. But it always spun round and went crazy. Right, okay, so this is my demonstration. This is what I would consider the best way of picking it up. I'm not saying it is, just saying I would think it is. So that is now grabbed onto there. If I now trim this to a suitable length, which I would say is around this. So it's not too challenging for it, hopefully. If I then pick it up, before it would sort of go onto the blade and allow me to lift up straight. That's not too bad, it's not quite what I was expecting. But then, when it swings, it goes really crazy. Too bad this time around, but yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to pick up in the middle. Ooh. Oh, ah, <laughs> ah, that could have been good. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, that was good. Give it a quick nudge, and it'll be in. I'm strapping as a go, just in case it does one of his weird, crazy fits, and just decides to. You know, throw the trailer everywhere because it has happened. There we go. That's good. Right, update the strap. I'm getting a good load here. It's not too bad. And this one here I do need to trim. It's too large to put in, but I should be able to just pick up the end of it by hand. So if I trim it about there, I can very, very simply walk over to it and throw it in. Yes, it actually did go in as well. Oh, it kind of did. It should be attached. Oh no, it's not. It's like a miniature tree. Uh, no, no, that's not right. It's been grilled. Just squeeze it into there if I can do. Yeah, that's good. Okay, right, the final piece of this tree. And then I might go for load number, well, tree number three. I'm only going to do one load. but I might be able to make some really serious money out of this. Despite it only being one trailer load, could still be very good. Okay, let go. It's actually turned out to be much longer than I was expecting. This could be good. Yeah, look at that. I always have so much more success with actually loading by hand, which is saying something. Anyway, yep, let's throw that into there. And that is that tree finished. Next tree, final tree. I'm going to choose another one which is very similar to that one there. Uh, actually, I'm going to give this large one over here. Change of plan. I might as well make it worthwhile. Look at the size of these. Right, okay, this one here. Perfect. Fell it straight across there. I really have no idea what I'm going to make off these, but it's probably going to be in the region of £10,000. Which doesn't pay for the trailer, but it will do eventually. Oh no, can you believe it? Although this could make for an interesting climb. Let me just trim these branches off, it'd be a very good view. Look at that. Do not try this at home. 
definitely don't try this anywhere. Standing on what we're cutting. Because you're likely to die. Good. Right, okay, so let's move these two chunks over to the trailer, which I should probably move closer, but it might be easier just to take the logs to it. We will see. Yeah, I've really cleared this area out. It's, it was quite dense when I started. You can see all the tree stumps which are left. I've never actually got rid of them. This could be good. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to go for a drag. I'm just going to drag instead of push. You shouldn't push anyway, I don't think. And I might still be using the tool wrong. It's actually really good for dragging, so if I just cut a tree down and dragged it all the way up to the cell point, that would be really effective. Except I would be leaving branches and stuff all over the road. Plus, it's a very long way to go in reverse. Now, I'm going to do that into two. Just to make it really simple. And, uh, yeah, that should be really good. I know that there is actually a super strong mod out where you can just pick up anything by hand, which would be very interesting. But, yeah, again, not exactly realistic. That's why we have machinery. To do the heavy work. Now, can't do it. I'm just going to have to cut them up and throw them into the trailer like this. It's much more effective. The only problem with this is it does devalue the wood. Um, but, yeah, that's done. Okay, final piece. It's a magic wand from Harry Potter. At least, it looks like it. It's actually a tree. So once again I get it all logged up and thrown into the trailer and yeah, you don't have to watch any of that painful stuff. All you want to see, no doubt, is the amount of money we get from this. So jump cut. Finished. Okay, let me put these straps over everything. Hopefully it holds everything in place, but as you can see that is actually a full trailer. Uh, so there could be even more than £10,000 here worth of wood. Uh, it could be much less, but I would... I would say it's around £10,000. We will see. Now this time I actually do have a very powerful tractor to pull this up the hill. It's not as powerful as the Matthew Ferguson, but it is still not too bad. 200 and something horsepower. So uh, yeah, this should be quite an easy journey up there. Although this trailer is still very heavy, I can tell just by accelerating that there is a fair amount of weight there. You can tell by looking at it too. Um, but yeah, like I say, in the future, in the next map, it's going to have the... MAN truck or whatever with the, the grab actually attached to it. I can then do things properly and I'd also like to do some chipping as well. I actually prefer doing chipping than logging just because it's easier. But I don't do much forestry anyway so this is just like a one-off video. Most likely the only one now until the end of the series or the beginning of the next series when it might start off with forestry just to get some more money but it depends. It really does depend on the map and also the current situation. If there's a good field of wheat or something, or any crop, and it's ready to harvest, then that is what I do first. It begins, the the climb to the top. Anyway, I've had a few people saying, what is the next map? And I don't know myself, but what I can say is it's not a, an American map, it's not the USA. Uh, it's most likely, well, it's 99% it's certain that it's a European map. Um, not too sure about UK. It might be, but yeah, pretty much guaranteed to be in Europe. We've got the Aussie Hour back on the multiplayer server, which I'm absolutely loving. I really do like that map. It's amazing how you can turn Stancy Lepacho into a completely different country. It's amazing. It's very well done, and I know that it is a very popular map anyway. The server's been full almost continually for the past 50 hours or something. It's been absolutely crazy. So that is a good sign. Usually the server empties, and... Uh, it sits there with about two players, sometimes no players. As you can see, we're doing 24 miles per hour uphill. This is impressive because usually I'm climbing this at about nine. Oh, nothing's fallen out, so that's good. At least we haven't lost anything on the way. It also feels fairly stable, so I shouldn't find it too easy to flip over. Look at that, I missed the sign. It's a rare event. Okay, here we go. Has the effort and time paid off? Let's see. It has almost £12,000. Oh yeah, and also, this Biobelts trailer, I really do like it. It's a very good mod. It's available on ModHub, so I do recommend it. And also, if you're going to put it on the back of the, the MAN truck, like I mentioned before, 
Uh, even better. I think it's in this category. Or did they move it? Or was it never in the category? Uh, <laughs> it'll be here somewhere. I think it is. It's in forestry machines, I'm sure it is. Yeah, there it is. This can tow it. So, at least I'm sure it can. Yeah, it can. It's a good setup. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.